back to another video. We're doing the weekly energy videos today. This one is for June 5th through the 11th. It's the first video of June, so I'm going to talk a little bit about June. I don't know if you remember, um, or maybe I never even mentioned this, I pulled a 12 card spread for 2022. It looks sort of like this, or there's just like one. Ah, that looks awful. There you go. There's one card for each month, and I forgot that I did this. And so there's an opportunity here at the top of the month to just talk about what came out for June. June is the theme of ascensions. Ascension is moving between paradigms, essentially, from the 3D paradigm, everything that exists in our real world, um, that is tangible, that is logical, um, that which we can explain, um, everything that is on the surface, consciousness, to 5D. Actually, 5D is more of that consciousness, right? The 5D paradigms. So just um, maybe seeing more connections between our waking world and our inner worlds, our consciousness and our spirituality. I'm gonna read this card to you. This is from the deck. Um, oh, what is the deck called? <sighs> something Love Oracle. I can't believe I forgot it. what it's called. The Secret Love Oracle. It's something called something weird like that. Um, there's videos on it where I do spreads just with that deck, but here's June. A new expression of being conscious, knowing yourself as divine. How does consciousness want to live through me now, is the question. Awaken from egoic limitation that have created attachment to past identities and predictable future outcomes. So there's about new genetic expressions of self. And I think you'll see that this week is full of that. Um, at the time of this recording, by the way, today I'm recording all four videos for June, so I'll just sort of schedule them to go out. I don't know what time do you guys like to watch videos, Saturday night, <laughs> Sunday morning, every week. Um, but today, when I'm recording this, is June 4th, Saturday, the day before this you know, week begins, the next week begins, according to my calendars. And today, Saturn goes retrograde. We talked about that in the last video. Saturn is the planet of limitations. So um, just know that there may be a feeling, more, more conservative feelings. If you're feeling the energy of um, some sort of self-limitation, then that's what that is. Don't worry too much about it because Saturn's going to be in retrograde for a while, like for most of the year. So just be kind to yourself, I feel like is good advice. Um, Whatever feelings you might have this weekend and this week, I feel like that's where, that's the area of your life that needs your spiritual attention. Um, like it said, June, June is the month of like something wanting to transcend. Um, this might be about just finally seeing your true value, having compassion for yourself for what's come. Whatever comes up for you this week though, the advice is um, do it your own way. Do it in a way that feels right. This is, be this is happening because we, we have this desire for things to want to make sense in our life. And sometimes maybe it's hard to express what it is we're experiencing. And this might differ um, based on your chart. Um, but this could be also about love, how you experience love, your paradigms of love. And by the weekend, we have a Scorpio moon. So, <laughs> Scorpio moon weekend. It's an it'll be maybe an intense feeling time. It's always a reminder of asking the question, what is it that wants to be let go of? And what do I need in my life? What are you calling in and what are you letting go of? Our moon cards here for the reading. Gibbous moon, waning moon, and the full moon. Um, the waning moon in the center says, what do you need to release? So just like I said this week, feelings are showing you 
what wants to be released or what needs your specifically spiritual attention where's your mindfulness coming into play in the things that you're dealing with this week whatever it is it could be something that's directly in front of you but it doesn't have to be it could be unrelated to what's exactly 3d in front of you so you have to dig a little bit deeper then we have the gibbous moon and the full moon the gibbous moon comes right before the full moon so this is saying that there's something that's very very close to the surface um, that's wanting to be released um, full moon is about surrendering release release and release is surrendering to the journey surrendering to the best outcome so in order to release something, you have to make a decision as to what you're calling into your life. So they happen in tandem. This is Scorpio Moon. Scorpio is death in the tarot. Death is the rebirth of something. It's also the feeling of our shadows, like our shadows, the things we don't necessarily want to let go of. We have strength underneath. Actually, I got this. I pulled a card for myself today. I got strength. Yo. Strength is about compassion in the face of fear. So if there's something that's like energetically welling um, and you're not sure where it's going, it's just saying to have faith that it, you're being guided. You know, the situation is being guided for the greatest good of all. For the good of all. See, we have the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, the Sun. Well, there's love and happiness. The sun is the other card I got today. All major cards. This is huge shit. This is huge. Whoa. The nine of cups, the two of cups, the sun. Temperance, lovers, the chariot. I see Cancer, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, the Empress, Libra Taurus, Knight of Wands, and the King of Cups. Leo is also reflected in the strength here, in the strength card. Okay, what do I want to say about this? This is, this is huge. We have both of the love cards. Remember I said this could be about love. This could be about some sort of like confusion and or contentment with love. Um, that mostly just feels like accepting, um, finally accepting or opening up to however love is manifesting in your life. Like, how do you take that in? How do you take in that, those good feelings of love? Um, there's patience and growth here in this contentment. The growth is sort of like coming in through um, receptivity. So it's not like a <laughs> receptivity as in, a widening of your um, sphere of influence to include more love. That's what's happening here. I feel like it's, it's there's, there's passion here, but there's also, um, there's also a bit of, of reservation. And it's like the kind of reservation that is more of the, I'm taking a step back. I'm not gonna force this issue. Something is manifesting on its own and I'm allowing it to happen. That's sort of the feeling. But I feel like also, if this is resonating for you, this is also saying this week to like be open and receptive. Um, temperance and chariot are, and strength, you know, all of these cards give me the energy, oh, and the king of cups, of just sort of like this inner emotional balance um, there's definitely a choice here. There's a choice to embrace um, enthusiasm, right? This choice to embrace release. So whatever's going on in your life, maybe depending on your circumstances, despite those circumstances, embracing enthusiasm.
This is about maybe somebody opening up to their, the power of their will. Maybe this is part of, maybe this is part of that 3D to 5D paradigm is you've stopped gunning for something in a physical way, in the physical realm, and started using energy move the, your willpower to, for using your energy and your willpower to create something in your life that's bringing about this choice. Whatever it is, it looks like it's, it's sort of on the precipice. I feel like this is something, whatever this choice will be, be something to figure out on your own, like it's happening internally. Is there something that you seek to understand? That answer is within. The inner dualities. Mm -hmm. We have so many zodiac signs on the table. Let's just do that. Let's, let's ask about who's showing up here. So if you are a Sag, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Leo, or Cancer. Let's start with Leo. Advice for Leo. Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. Uh, so Leo, you are or have been working towards something pretty diligently. And I feel like it's saying to go within um, and meditate on this kind of release that's allowing things to come in in a way that you least expect. Be open to other possibilities of what it is you're trying to manifest. All right, let's go to Sag. Four of Wands. Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. While well, you have the Commitment card, you know, like, the Four of Wands is about the foundation, the foundation of something. So it could be like, what are you committed to? Um, this might have to do with your work or money or your legacy, something about your house. So something about home life, wanting to be transformed. Or maybe you're experiencing the kind of change right now where you're questioning what is your root, what is your foundation, what is everything built on. It might feel like it's being uh, shook up a bit, but I feel like the kind of things you want to um, exhibit might be the kind that is... Um, seeing what you want to keep, seeing what is truly part of like your legacy, the most important parts. Answer the question, the truthful question of what is most important and valuable to you, and then let everything else go. It's about maybe realigning your value again, Sag. Let's see uh, Taurus. Six of Cups, King of Swords, Four of Cups. Um, <laughs> Taurus. I see a little bit of stubborn of the Taurus here where it's like there's some, some harmony. Um, you're wanting to like, this is actually for a good reason, I think. You're, you, you, you might have challenge accepting what is coming this week if you're trying to hold on to the way that things were. Um, you're saying, I'm good with this. I'm good. I'm good. You know, that's a question to ask yourself. If, if that, if it, does that feel right to you? If it feels right to you, then that's good. Otherwise, know that that energy is here. The King of Swords, you know better. Like, you know. You just know. You don't need anything else. You're good. You have sort of like this happy happy home feeling around you. 
And also some, some sort of like childlike curiosity or wonder, playfulness is here for you. Now we're doing Gemini, the Page of Pentacles, the Star, and the Seven of Cups. So, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, this is like a new opportunity, but it's also about trying things differently. So, if what your intuition is telling you right that um, you're in the process of continuous renewal, like things are changing a lot, the acceptance here is knowing that there's many ways to do things wrong versions of a thing before you reach your um, the fulfillment of that. That's your mode of surrender is knowing understanding process. Let's do um, cancer, and then we'll call it there. Wands, wands, wands. The nine of wands, the six of wands, and the queen of wands. Ooh, lots of fire on this chariot, on this, uh, for cancer. The Nine of Wands is about overcoming something, finally. This, the, the feeling of the final perseverance, and then you have victory. So it's, it's kind of saying, it, it looks to me that you or someone around you has, has um, either inspired you or you found some sort of um, fire within you that you're working with. This element of fire is very loud. You're finding the energy somewhere, the power to succeed beyond your limitation this week. The Queen of Wands, she's the Witch of the Tarot, so maybe you are doing some manifesting magic. Okay, that's what I got. If any of these resonated for you, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.